chapter and now I am about to pick up the ninth chapter of civics class 7 and the name of the chapter is a shirt in the market. Well, all of you have gone to the market to buy a shirt. It seems very simple that you pay money to the shopkeeper, pick up the shirt of your own choice and wear it. But where does this shirt come from? Who are the people who are involved in the making of the shirt? What is the raw material used? Where is it grown? Who has made it? And how has it reached the shop from where you have purchased is the main concern of the chapter. First of all, we will talk about a cotton farmer of Karnool. Swapna is a small farmer in Swapna is a small farmer in Karnool which is a place in Andhra Pradesh and here she grows cotton and feels very happy every day as she sees her crop harvest. She sees the balls coming out of the crop that she has grown and she is very excited. She feels that the ripe this year is going to be very good and she is going to earn a good profit. Well, there is one thing which she knows is that she has to sell her produce to the local trader. She cannot go to the open market and sell her cotton to the best possible person who can give her the best price. But she is forced to sell that cotton to the local trader. Now what is the reason behind this? The reason is that at the beginning of the growing of cotton, she did not have enough money. So, so she was forced to borrow money from the local trader for pesticide, insecticide, for good seeds and so on. Thus, she has got trapped into that because before giving her the loan, she was made to promise that whatever is the output, she would be selling it only to that trader. So that was the promise or the condition made by Sapna at the beginning of the season. Now she goes to this cotton trader and she sells the cotton. The trader takes advantage of the situation and gives her very less money compared to what is the rate in the open market. Well, she tries to argue in a subtle manner. She does not become aggressive and she does not even threaten the trader that she will go and sell it in the open market because she knows that ultimately year after year because of her poverty she will be forced to come to the trader who will help her out by borrowing money whenever she wants. So she just humbly agrees to whatever the amount is being paid and goes back home. This was the first condition. 